Hello everyone, I'm Daniele Bianchi. I'm a senior lecturer in finance at the School of Economics and Finance at Queen Mary University of London and I'm the director of the Master in Finance and Machine Learning. In this short presentation, I'm going to lay out some of the key features and, and, and characteristics of uh, this new master. Before getting there, let me just give you a little bit of an overview of my background. As I said, I'm the director of the master and my background is primarily uh, empirical asset pricing, financial econometrics, and uh, machine learning. So uh, I actually do research on this topic and my primary research interest lays at the intersection between, uh, you know, mainstream finance and, um, and uh, applied statistics, really. So uh, why machine learning is important? Well, machine learning is everywhere. Machine learning applications are really everywhere, from understanding political campaigns, to understanding advertisement, facial recognition, so, you know, cameras, uh, um, uh, autonomous self-driving vehicles, and surveillance systems. So the applications are really limitless and they actually uh, spread different, uh, different, different sectors of the economy. The finance sector does not make any exception here. What I'm highlighting here is the amount of spending on alternative data. By alternative data, I mean alternative data sources, data scientists, IT infrastructures, data management systems, and so on and so forth. These are the money that has been paid, spent by big, big financial institutions. And as you can, as you can see, the money that has been spent on so-called alternative data sources and alternative data analysis has been growing steadily, steadily by roughly 20% a year over the last few years. Now, obviously, the more and more money is coming as an investment, the more jobs there are. And what I'm highlighting here is, um, you know, a graph that appeared on the Financial Times a few months back. And, uh, you know, they were highlighting an increasing number of open positions. So on job openings for alternative data analysts, and that's the dark blue bars, vis-a-vis -vis the number of investment funds that actually employ those analysts, and that's the light blue bar. So as you can see in both, both metrics actually increase exponentially over the last few years. The graph here stops at 2017, but the trajectory keeps going even now. So the punchline is that there are more investments, meaning more jobs, meaning more funds, more financial institutions. There are more and more interest in people that actually can play around, so to speak, with alternative data. And that's the key thing of this master. So at the end of the day, what you're going to learn in this master is, first of all, understand basic concepts and principles of statistical learning methodologies. But not only that, it's not just, you know, computer science master at the end, but there is the finance component in it. So you're going to learn how to apply economic theoretical concepts to couple complex statistical learning methods. So the idea here is that you have to couple expertise coming from a finance uh, you know, your finance uh, modules and the technology that you're going to learn in uh, in your machine learning models, right? So coupling the two things. So you're going to explore, you know, first of all, the key practicalities to implement statistical learning, in particular, when it comes to understand aggregate market trends and forecasting for making investment decisions. So you're going to learn how to implement those algorithms, but also how to design those algorithms and, uh, uh, you know, how to design and critically assess those algorithms, in particular when it comes to investment decision making. So the, the, the goal idea here in a nutshell is that you're going to learn, you know, you're going to learn, uh, how to use those methodologies, so statistical learning methods, complex, linear and nonlinear, sparse or dense statistical learning methods to do forecasting and therefore make better investment decisions, right? So uh, it's a really interdisciplinary degree in the sense that you're going to learn, first of all, how financial markets work. So uh, there is both core models and electives that allows you to understand, you know, the, you know to build up the, the core tools such as asset pricing, corporate finance, risk management and the likes uh, when it comes to mainstream finance. And there are also obviously core models and elective models that allows you to understand the state of the art advanced machine learning methodology. So when I say that is interdisciplinary, I truly mean that because it's not just a finance master, it's not just a machine learning master, it's actually a combination of the two. 
So it's a really interdisciplinary degree at the end. It's entirely delivered by the School of Economics and Finance here at Queen Mary, but some of the additional elective models are actually taught by industry experts, so people that come from the industry. We are all we are just miles away. Uh, we are just you know a few blocks away from from the city of London, and some of the models are delivered by the School of, of Mathematical Science, in particular a couple of elective models that are more say math based. For those of you who really wants to dig deeper into the uh, algorithmic procedures. Who is it for? Well, we are, we're going to look for students that both uh, they could either have uh, uh, an economics background, so economics, business management, accounting, or a more quantitative background, stats, physics, maths. You know, the two are not mutually exclusive in the sense that we actually look for both type of students pre precisely for the reason that I said before. This is an interdisciplinary master. It's not just finance, it's not just machine learning, it's a combination of the two. So almost regardless your background, as far as you did some math and stats, this master could be appealing for you. The reason why I say that is appealing and the reason why I say that is interdisciplinary, as I mentioned before, is because there is not just core models in finance and machine learning, but you're going to have a variety of semester electives, uh, of electives in the second semester, and that's entirely depending on your background, your interests, or your career perspectives. Last but not least, there is a dissertation that needs to be done at the end in term three, and that dissertation is uh, based on uh, so-called specialist data sets. So data sets, they are typically used to investigate, um, you know, the, the pros and cons of statistical learning methodology when it comes to big data analytics. Uh, the course structure in semester one, you're going to have uh, some core models in asset pricing, financial econometrics, big data and machine learning. In semester two, you're going to have a couple of core models and uh, elective models. Elective models, as I said, are entirely up to you. There is a wide portfolio of elective models going from real estate to, uh, uh, to you know, private equity to advanced machine learning methods. Um, there is really, really a wide list of alternatives. And then, as I mentioned before, in semester three, there is the dissertation. So dissertation, that is really a research project here um, that allows you to effectively implement in a sort of a real time, um, sort of in a real world scenario, what you actually learn in semester one and semester two. So when it comes to the assessment, again, is 75% is modules. So 75% are taught modules, core or electives and 25% is the dissertation, so the research projects you have to work on for, uh, you know, complete your dissertation. So, as I said before, it's really interdisciplinary and, you know, you have this nice mixture between finance models, machine learning models, so really what we want to, uh, we want to create here is sort of a hybrid category of finance professionals, so you want to uh, you want to either you want to specialize yourself as data analyst, you already have a finance background, and you want to improve your figure in terms of, you know, big data analytics, or for instance, you want to just specialize uh, uh, as a data scientist in financial markets, right? More generally, if this, this master is for you if you want to pursue a career in finance, but not mastering finance. Finance with a particular focus on data science, fintech, um, and ultimately academia, for instance, why not? Perhaps you want to pursue for the studies uh, within the context of, uh, uh, you know, understanding complex statistical modeling and their properties.